Right, so now you're registered or logged in, you're ready to create your own label. You can see here it's showing I'm logged in as a fundraiser in this top section here. If I'd have registered as an individual it would be red there. So that's a, a nice clear understanding of how you're logged in or even if you're logged in. So we go to create your own label, click on that. Now you see we do get a little box comes up because we haven't got any designs within our um, account at the moment. Uh, if we had created some last year or you done some earlier then obviously they would show up and you wouldn't get this box. So we're going to say OK because it's prompting us to click on this new button here to create a template for us to use. Now the first label that comes up as a template um, is actually uh, for any ultimate pudding. Now this is a generic uh, outer which comes up um, for you. So if you're doing a design and it, you're not quite sure yet which pudding you're going to apply it to, this is a really good one just to do um, to set you off. Now you can click on these sections down the bottom here um, and that obviously then will just show you how the other pudding labels look around that. These are great if you're wanting just to create these to do some JPEGs for your posters internally for school. Um, they obviously just give you um, a little indication of, of, of how they will look so that if you want the particular pudding actually um, uh, on the poster itself. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the uh, Any Ultimate Pudding, which is the one you want to be working on. And we're going to put some text in. We have areas along the top arc here where we can actually put some text in. Um, we see here we've got fundraiser puddings. Um, we're, going to, we're going to just put here, and I'll just put school, a school name along there. Now you'll notice immediately we do have a little glitch on the side at the moment. It's not prompting the text to actually work until we click a, uh, a colour, and then you'll see it's actually coming through. Um, okay, so it is a little glitch. We are just working on that. When we actually change that now. It does seem to uh, affect the text, but uh, as I say, we are working on that, so just bear with us on, on that section of the website. So we, we can change the uh, text here. We can change it to a particular different font if you're uh, quite arty and you want to actually mess around with those. They're there for you to do. Some of them work better than others, depending on what you're saying, really. And you can also change the point size of the text there depending on how much you want to say uh, top and bottom. So we've put some text in the top there, but we can actually put some text, some extra text if we want, along the edge here, which does make your image area smaller. But um, I'll just show you how that works. Um, I'll just put here text to go here. Okay, so you can see then that that's pushed the image, it's just cropped the image slightly, but it does allow you, if you want to put a message top and a message bottom, you can do that and you can change the colour of that individually from the colour of your top text. And if I take that out, you'll see that'll drop that image size down again. There you go. So it's just dropped that picture down. And that's entirely up to you, depending on what you're wanting to say on your label, really. The other area to look at is the image that you actually use within the center section here. Now we do recommend that you have an image uh, between a 500 kilobyte and a maximum of a 2 megabyte size. Anything small that and it's going to be a bit fuzzy, anything larger and you're going to have problems uploading or it could take a, a long time. So we've got a theme section here. Now these are uh, little pictures that we have on file for you. Um, now just to let you know, on the Mac we have a little bit of a glitch on this, in that um, on the PC you'll see a scroll bar, but you don't see it on a Mac until you actually move your mouse left and right. Um, so that that is there, so, so please do look out for that. There are more than three images there available, and we're hoping to upload those um, as and when we get more images come through. The other thing you can do is use your own photograph. Um, would you click on the button here? These are the, the themes we've got. This is to upload your own photograph. And I'll, I'll just load one here for you that I've got on my uh, desktop. Um, let me see if I can find it now. I've got a, a rugby one. There you go. So I'm going to place this one in there. So I've selected it, rugby JPEG, and upload. Now this is obviously great if you're doing it um, for a rugby club, obviously not a Christmas pudding, um, but also just to show you how that works. Now that's slotted in, you can see it doesn't fit the area correctly, 
and that's why we've got these great little buttons over to the um, to the right here which allows you to fit your image to that area that we've got so I'm just going to click away there just to make that a lot bigger and then I can move it left if I want to I can go up a little bit down a bit and right but I think I'm going to move that left a little bit more so you can see we've set that up so that you can actually fit your image within that area quite nicely and gives you a bit of flexibility there to to, to resize your image within the uh, website itself so just looking at the image and templates that we provide we do have this uh, pudding label template which is the area we're interested in when you're looking at doing your drawing or uploading your photograph really so you see that's a blank one and here we've got one that's been submitted a child has actually done the, the picture there they've put the name and the age and the school in there so that that's been uploaded to us um, to be able to be cropped now we would normally look to crop that as well to place that within the um, the actual pudding label itself and you know, please save these as a JPEG not PDFs JPEG is the right image type to be uploaded to us and just to give you an indication here you can see how this one's been uploaded but obviously it doesn't fit the arc um, but by using those left and right buttons we can then scale it to fit and it'll it'll fit nicely within there and we lose that black line because it just creeps out the edge of the area there so please do use the templates they they're, they're great for for getting the area required just as a little note if you're wanting to use some software to actually alter your image be it uh, brightness or you want to montage um, some images together or put your uh, logo your school logo on there uh, a good site um, to use is photo now this is uh, www.photo.com and this um, by logging into this you can actually mess around with your pictures you can change the colors and, and do quite some nice wacky things um, on there and we would really recommend you go on there and have a play around uh, and get your image right before you upload it so uh, go and have, go there and have a look and uh, have a play now that we've put the text in we want and we've picked the image that we want that's right for the pudding very very importantly you need to save your label really at the moment this is the label we're, we're working on and you can see that it's got the red cross which allows us to delete it but until it's got the little green arrow on this side um, our label isn't really safe so we, we would um, suggest if we go to all done now we can save a work for later or we can create it and make it all done now if we save it for later it will hold it for us but it won't necessarily be there ready to download if we place an order so what we'd suggest you done is if we click on all done okay so that label is now created and you'll see immediately you've got a little green arrow here which means that's saved that's saved in, into uh, the ultimate plum pudding website server and we can retrieve that at any stage if we want to and we can create a new pudding label there and we've still got that old one we can click on it we can work on it we can change any text we want on it and then save it again and that that will that will hold there nice and safe for us now when you're viewing the label sometimes there is a little glitch going on in the website and they might look a bit odd the images um, at the moment we, we are working on that but I would suggest you just go out of that create your own label into one of the other pages when you click back in that seems to be refreshing it and that seems to be uh, working okay and you can see there actually that other label we just created we have lost that now because we actually clicked off without saving so you can see how important it is once you've got your label to go onto the all done and save your label ready for printing so the other thing as fundraisers uh, we know you're going to want to do is to save these uh, labels to advertise on your posters um, if we take this one we've done let's just create a, another one because that's all saved let's just create another one quickly um, and then we'll just take us through this process that we've already been through but we'll just put here uh, school name here and we'll just choose one of the pictures that we've got in stock now the post the the pudding that we're going to have for this particular um, uh, fundraiser is a zingy lemon pudding so we've got a uh, our image and we're going to put our school name up here 
So you can see there we've created it. Let's, let's save it as we said we should do. And then we'll create it and we will wait for that green arrow to come, which means that we've, we've saved it. There we go. Great. OK, so now that what that will allow us to do for the school posters is um, click on the green arrow itself. Now, this is going to come up very large in my my uh, screen window here, so you're not going to be able to see this very well. Um, but this gives you a large image which you can then save and as a JPEG and put onto your school posters. This will then um, mean you can sort of advertise them as you need to. Oh, we've got lots of others open there. So that, that's a really good useful function there because obviously this first one uh, is for any ultimate pudding because this will change. We could have that image and this text on, a, on a, a variety of puddings, whereas we actually, for the poster, we want to say the actual pudding that we're going to advertise. And we could have a, a, a few different ones here created. We could have a, a chocolate pudding and, and a Christmas pudding here um, with the, the same message on or different messages if you're creating different puddings um, for different reasons. Um, okay, the, the website at the moment though doesn't really accommodate multiple designs for one type of pudding. Um, so that's something maybe we, we might look in the future, but at the moment that we don't we don't have the facility to do that. Okay, so when you check out, um, you'll see a form which will tell you um, if there's just one label or there's multiple labels. So don't worry how many JPEGs you save, we'll know what to do and we can, uh, we can adjust that uh, accordingly. And if there's any uh, issues or if you're really stuck on anything, you can um, you can contact uh, Carol at ultimateplumpudding.co.uk. I'll just bring that up on screen there for you so that you can see that. Um, and I'm sure she will be able to help you with any other uh, problems you may be having. Um, bear with us. It's a new site and we're, we're trying to address things and make it really, really easy for you to use. And uh, we're certainly uh, getting comments about that, that that is coming together now.